take a look outside your window. Is it hot and sunny? Is it cloudy and rainy? Is there snow on the ground? Whatever you're seeing, it's the weather of today and only temporary. As we know, a sunny summer day can quickly change to a rainy day when a thunderstorm passes by. Climate, on the other hand, is more than just a few warm or cool days. Think about this analogy. In baseball, pitchers throw thousands and thousands of pitches in their careers. That's the climate. One strike down the middle would be one day of weather. Climate describes the typical weather conditions in an entire region for a very long time, 30 years or more. Keeping an eye on changing weather can help us plan ahead, like deciding if we need an umbrella or not for that day. But scientists from around the world, including at NASA, are watching the changing Earth's climate, and they say the Earth is warming. Last year was um, one of the hottest ever recorded, and um, the last 10 years have all been the hottest recorded. And that means essentially we're seeing a long and persistent increase in global temperatures that's caused by um, greenhouse gas accumulations in the atmosphere. When you hear scientists refer to climate change, we are talking about a change in climate patterns attributed largely to the increased level of carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. These are slow changes that are generally seen when looking at long-term trends, not day-to-day -day weather conditions. But NASA Earth scientist Stephen Pawson says some severe weather events are becoming more extreme in some cases because of those changes. How impactful is it that we're seeing these year after year temperature changes? Even though these actual global temperature changes seem quite small overall, the important thing is that they are very significant in terms of the amount of energy um, being transferred and it um, enables, for instance, a lot of um, extreme events to become more significant. For instance, hurricanes could be stronger and more intense and give more rainfall. Um, we've, we're seeing in other places, we're seeing droughts that are quite extreme. One bitter cold January day doesn't disprove climate change. That's just weather. But a trend with many warmer than average Januaries shows us that climate change is indeed happening. The jet stream pattern, which dictates day to day weather in the month of January 2022, has given us many days with below normal temperatures. But five of the last six Januaries, we've seen temperatures run above the norm. Just another indicator of our warming climate. We're noticing the changes here in New Hampshire now. In our series, Forecasting the Future, we'll be discussing how the changing climate is impacting everything from the ski industry to sea levels on the coast to our majestic moose population. I'm meteorologist Haley LaPointe, WMUR News 9.